Ryan and the whole team have, have, have made, from Bob, the editor, the, the John Williams coming back for the music, uh, all the, the whole cast has invested so much heart into it, and uh, Carrie's performance at the center of it is, is, is the, like the thumping heart of the whole thing, and uh, it's, uh, I mean, I think we, we saw it last night for the first time, and just we're just so overwhelmed by, by it. <laughs> just extraordinary. You know, uh, a pinch me moment to say the least and something that you'll have forever. Um, I rarely have anything that my children can see that I'm in. <laughs> so it's also <laughs> gotten me wonderful props at home <laughs> to have them uh, imagine, imagine getting to see this this legacy and something they know I grew up fantasizing in my room with a pretend lightsaber and you know all that all that um, I think we all grew up dreaming up and then you're there suddenly with these characters and trying to tell the story but then to see the film as Oscar mentioned last night was just mind-blowing it was amazing yeah well I think what's what's great about what Ryan's done is that you get to learn from him not by exposition about where he's from and you know what 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 happened when he was 13 years old and these kind of things that you actually learn by the at the present of what is happening and how he deals with it and how he deals with this new person in his life uh, that Laura plays Admiral Holdo that kind of brings out all this conflict in him and uh, and how he deals with that and how he becomes uh, not just a hero but a leader. Hmm. <laughs> a sexy person. <laughs> a bossy person. <laughs> Put in a sexy way. <laughs> <laughs> that pretty much sums it up. That's as much as we can tell you at this time. What do you think? Oh, I know. I mean, some of the things he does, you just can't, you can't believe it. It's yeah, so extraordinary. Yeah, yeah. Cool looking. Uh, it's, I think it's the best marriage of, of the, the technological advances uh, that have happened and just wonderful storytelling and the way that those things come together uh, and and create an emotional response not just not just a, a spectacle but something that actually has deep meaning and done in, s in such a skillful way it, I, it's, I mean from the beginning from the first frames of the thing as it as it gets going you're just like wow wow and the way a lot of this was shot it was shot differently um, subtly it's you know the wider lenses were used, which is, Star Wars is not really a wide lens kind of thing mm -hmm. up until, the, there's different language used. Um, you know, Star Wars, if you think about it, a lot of it's like the long lens, kind of blurry stuff in the back, and, but this is, it just, the whole thing gets wider, and um, it's, it's, like I said, I, I feel like it, it, it elevates the story. But it's effortless, yeah. this movie particularly. And I remember feeling that as a child when I saw Return of the Jedi. That was the movie that I, I felt like when it was over, I hadn't been breathing through the whole movie because I just was so not only startled by everything, but it was like it penetrated my heart as a kid. And last night I had the same kind of feeling where it, it really does touch you and get inside your own heart and ask you deep questions about yourself. It's such a personal film. It's pretty remarkable. Mm -hmm. While being a spectacle and everything you want as a fan, Yeah, it's also profoundly yeah. personal. Thank you, yeah.